Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome everyone once again to our Potter's Gate online broadcast. My name is Isaac Phillips Akintala. And I believe God this morning to lead us to pray effectively in regards to the leading of the Spirit uh, this morning by the grace of God. We're going to be asking the Lord to grant us grace. Thank you so much, my dear brother Patrick, this morning for connecting. Really appreciate it. All right. Uh, this morning, by the grace of God, we're going to pray. It's going to be a short prayer time we're going to be having, but we're going to pray effectively. We're going to be looking into the word of God. All right. Um, we're just going to believe the Lord to grant us grace, direction and clarity this morning. A couple of things I really want to do quick and fast. But uh, yes, like I said, I really don't want us to over drag this let's quickly go to uh first chronicles first chronicles we've been looking at first chronicles um 13 first chronicles 13 and we're tracking a principle here where david all right in the day of his coronation in the day of his uh, um and statement as the king of of israel we saw him all right do something very strategic that many today are forgotten in fact we don't see that again regularly in the body of Christ and of course in the nations. The desire to bring God back, the desire to, you know, to instate, to reinstate, you know, the, the, the authority and the government of God in the nation is something that is very paramount to the heart of David. And uh, we live in a day where the spirit of the Lord, I mean, is, 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 is restoring what is called the tabernacle of David. Meaning that the lifestyle, the, the, the character, the value system, the, 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 the things that defines, you know, what uh, um, David represents, amen, should be what motivates our life in engaging, amen, the days that we live in, all right? For the days of David are not different from our days, all right? The same thing that, you know, David faced in his time are the same challenges, basically, that we are facing. We're still facing the issue of people not wanting, all right, to, 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 to connect with God. We're still facing the challenges of people, amen, not wanting the leadership of God, not wanting the government of God, amen. We're faced with all these things. So we have to amen, position our heart and our life, amen, in such a way where what, what defines our priority, our movement, amen, into the days that we live in and, of course, into the days ahead is that conscious reality of the presence of God in our life. This is how we can pray. This is how we can build. This is how we can advance in the light of truth. We must be carriers, amen, of the presence of God. I was sharing a few days ago, I said the presence of God, amen, is the key thing in our life. If we don't have the presence of God, there's no way we'll be able to intelligently do anything right. We we'll we'll, won't be able to make right decision. We won't be able to, amen, face challenges, amen, that are there before us, not wanting to move. Thank you so much. Uh, I see my wife joining. I see Sister Myrtle also joining. Thank you so much. This morning, I'm, I'm using my laptop, so the whole thing may be different. Uh, maybe I might be sounding different, but, well, it's still the same by Isaiah Phillips, and it's still the same message. Amen. Like I said, we're going to be making this a little bit short by God's grace. I just want to push this principle again into our heart in case amen we, we we have forgotten i want to remind us again amen of the nature of the days that we're living and how we must how we must engage this day we cannot amen depend on our own intellect our own wisdom our own knowledge amen to 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 face the, the complex issues that we're surrounded with we need god and we to to, to to say we need god is an understatement amen we need his reality in our life we need his presence in our life and david as a warrior david amen as a king david amen as as one who who understand Amen. The the, the 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 position and the authority of leadership also understood that without the entrainment of God, Amen, within his nation, within his within his city, within Amen, his society, that every other effort, every other thing that people are doing will be waste. And I think that is something that we need to reawaken. We need to you know stress, Amen, over and over and over again, Amen, over the spiritual atmosphere of South Africa. More than ever before, this nation needs God. We need God. Amen. The nations of the world need, they need God. We may be living in a time where, all right, technology 
maybe giving us an alternative but guess what who gives us the power who gives us the wisdom who gives us the skill of technology of course it's god god won't give us things that will replace him all right we can't wake up in the morning and all we do is on we on our phone at least we are using our phone or whatever devices we're using amen to connect with god that's what we're talking about whatever god gives to us should enhance our commitment to him not 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 drag us away not distract us away amen there are people this morning waking up all kinds of things they're doing that is not leading them to that point where their heart is posture before God, where their mind, amen, is aligned to the will of God. Many people wake up, they feel tired, they feel hopeless, they feel discouraged. No, you go to God. You go to God. That's why I am on air. That is why, amen, we are online. I'm not online. I'm not on social media for any other thing than, amen, to steer the heart of people, to, to, to draw people to God, to, to, to bring people to the awareness, amen, of the need, amen, for God in their life. We need to enthrone, we need to, we need to enthrone God daily in our life and I'm, I'm gonna read, read the scripture again once again just to remind us it's important I know I've been stressing on the scripture because we are we are in a day of rebuilding all right we're moving away from the day of King Saul we're moving away from the day amen of a time where a man ruled amen by his own brutal soulish power we're moving from that position where amen we do things by our own kind of human wisdom we're moving amen from the day where we depend on human idea on somebody's strength on somebody's ingenuity we dip, we're moving away amen from wrong alliances we're moving away from a time where we think all right that we can survive without god no we need to walk into that reality that this is the day of god this is amen the beginning this is the dawn amen of 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 the seventh day of the day of the lord amen the day of man has ended the day of flesh has ended this is the day where we need to bring back listen and it's going to take men to carry God back into, amen, his temple. Listen to what I've just said. It's going to take men, amen, to bring God back. Hallelujah. The presence of God is not designed to be carried on cats. It's not designed to be carried on some nice phone, some nice, you know, God knows what. No, they said the presence of God must be carried on the shoulders of men. So even as we desire as we desire to bring God back into our nation, amen. It's important we understand the modus operandi, we understand the protocol, we understand the the, the, the the requirement, amen. We must, God wants to dwell, God wants to be carried by men, God wants to live. He says, I will live in you, I will dwell in you. He wants to live in us, he wants to dwell in us. Let's let's look at the scripture again before I just carry on preaching. David conferred with each of his officers, commanders of thousands, thousands. If you, if you check in the scripture in First Chronicles 13, you will see the commanders of thousands. Just imagine what it takes to, to command 1,000. Just 1,000. Now the Bible says commanders, commanders of thousands. We don't know how many thousand, maybe 10,000, maybe 12,000. But David understood that the strength of amen, his, his fighters, his warriors is in the Lord. What have we bought? What have we built? What have we done? What are we seeking to do this morning? Have we gathered our commanders of thousands? These commanders of thousands could even be the strength, the ingenuity, the capacity, the skill in us. We've got to bring them, hallelujah, together. Commanders of thousands, amen. Commanders of hundreds. Then he said to the whole assembly, he gathered the whole assembly. I mean, he could have done that with some. If in our day, of course, you'll be using technology, all right? It's easy today. You just put things on social media. You know, you made it clear. Everybody gets it. Everybody gets it. I mean, Twitter will, will, will spread the message. Imagine, imagine we have presidents saying, we want to dedicate this day to God. Regardless of what people think, after all, there are people amen, in, in, in New Zealand. There are, there are places in Europe today. They are, they are dedicating certain days, certain things to, you know, to satanism. We saw when, you know, they, uh, I guess it was in New Zealand, I can't remember which of the, you know, European country that they opened this tunnel that connect to, you know, to, you know, to, to two cities, I think two cities together. I mean, we saw the ceremony. This was pure satanism. This was pure sat it, it, they, they, they were not, <clears throat> excuse me, they were not hiding it. They, they dedicate the, you know, the opening of this tunnel, all right, to Satan. They did the, the, you know, the, 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 the dance, you know, the, the proclamation, everything, amen, was <clears throat> things that were done under, you know, under the Vikings in those days, under the authorities of the Vikings. This was carried life. 
Why are our leaders in Africa and in other parts of the world are afraid, amen, to stand on God's side? What they say, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't stand for something, you fall for something. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we need to know, these are days where Jesus said, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you deny me before men, he said, I would also deny you before my Father in heaven. If we openly declare who we are, listen to this. There's not, there's no constitution that says a president of a nation or you know a leader of the society cannot, you know, cannot declare his his his, his religious allegiance. No, you cannot. You can because listen, everyone has that choice. Is 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 your constitutional right? Amen to declare particularly if you're a leader well, there's nothing that says you, you can't go to church on Sunday and say we, we let every Christian come together after all, everybody knows the president is a Christian <clears throat> let's come together we want to pray we want to pray for our nation our, our nation needs prayer and I'm not just talking about going to some you know doing some religious you know thing that they do no real spiritual engagement we want to cry out to God imagine the the president going on his knees he's come you know asking his guys who are with him who are Christians say guys come let's pray we we need divine intervention that is bringing the presence of God back to a nation like I said, you know, some time ago, when 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 Justice Minister McQueen McQueen, I mean, bowed the knees at the Parliament and pray and call upon the name of God and spoke in tongues in that Parliament. Listen, I know war began that day. I knew it in my heart that we have triggered something in the spirit. We are we are we are fighting, Amen, and we are bringing back Hallelujah God into this nation. But guess what? It's not going to be easy. The enemy is going to continue to fight us. He will use the Constitution. No, this is not right. No, he will use all kinds of people that have been placed and positioned to make sure that this nation does not advance but it's 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 our responsibility amen to seek the face of god to continue to pray the bible says you will make mention of god give him no rest and give yourself no rest see when you rest too much the devil put you on a final rest <laughs> When you when you when you make rest, amen. I just want to rest. No, no. You you you. This is a time to be awakened. We're sounding, amen. The, the the trumpet, amen, of awakening. We're sounding the trumpet of awakening. It's time for us to awake, 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 O Zion, awake. Put on strength. The scripture says. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's time to put on strength. When we put on strength. Amen. We begin to see the manifestation amen, of God in our life. To put on strength means to come into the place of prayer. So the Bible says David conferred with, he conferred with them. He connected with them. He asked them, commanders of commanders of thousands, commanders of hundred. He said to the whole assembly of Israel, it, it, if, 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 it, if it seems good in your sight, amen, and if it's the will of the Lord our God, let us send words far and wide, amen, to the rest of our brothers throughout the, ter in the, the territory of Israel, throughout the territory, throughout the territory, wherever they are, Bloemfontein, you know, uh, wherever they are, bring them. Le we, we want to connect with our God. All right. Of course, um, this is on a larger scale, but it can start with our on our own individual private home. It may bring your home together, bring your family together, bring everybody together, get the neighbors together. You, you Christians, so you know, let's come together. Let's pray. We want to usher. What are we praying for? We want to usher God back into our land, into our nation. We desperately need God. I mean, like our sharing was yesterday. I mean, you look at what is happening today with the with the power you know a, a company has come i mean to me that is symbolic of the spiritual state of of this nation <laughs> you understand i mean the power can go off anytime well that we've been experiencing in nigeria at least back in those days when i was in nigeria I mean, you you have to get your own power you've got to get your own generator right? so we south africa they're waking up to that reality now i mean things are things are changing people are beginning to realize whoa wait a minute yes because things that you don't deal with amen will finally haunt you you will finally get to a day where you can no longer run you've got to deal with the reality now we're dealing with those reality so we need to equip people we need to tell people amen to know how to adjust themselves how to adjust their mind how to you know people into business a business concept has to change in this nation we have to everything has to change we have to change now they've told us that in the next uh, 18 months uh, we're going to be having this you know power outage listen to this do you prepare the people do you tell them do you do you give them alternative all right these are things we're not hearing things like that nobody's saying anything we have to as believers begin to align our people align our you know just look at the impact the economic impact alone 
and of course this is long overdue it is important that they that they over oil the the whole you know a uh, uh, power you know power plants and all that but guess what you need to have prepared the people you need to let the people know this is what is going to happen only for you know the new guy uh, the, uh, the, uh, you know at the end of affairs you know in escom to come and announce well that this outage is going to continue like this for the next you know uh, uh, one, uh, 18 months two, two years that's basically two years what do you do i mean this morning when i come on air i wasn't like i wasn't sure okay okay let's just do it by faith let's do it by faith because you can begin then the light is off so so we, we've entered into a new terrain into a new reality of how to engage and we have to understand how to navigate this season so so that we are not we are not at disadvantage amen the enemy don't steal our joy the enemy don't you know don't don't hinder amen at the advancement amen of of the, of the things of god within within our lives within our business within our career within our workplace all right we have to know amen how to adjust how to how to reconnect we have to find alternatives while we maintain the course amen of advancing the things of god the purposes of god that's what i'm saying the job the job of the job the lord amen today must be what comes from a dimension that is not sourced from you know uh, 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 you know just having electricity you have to find alternative alternatives alternatives they say let's bring back or right, i know they, they then the, 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 the scripture says that the, then david said a message to all the all their brethren all right in all the territories of Israel and also, amen, to the priest and to the Levites. Everybody's gone doing their own thing. This is this is a scattered, you see, this is a scattered society. Under Saul, under King Saul, everything became scattered. Look at look at everybody's littered around. Everybody's doing their own thing. Now you see David is gathering, he's bringing the people together for one cause. Why do you bring the people together for one cause? What's the cause? The cause of bringing God back. Because when you bring God back, you begin to realign everything. When God is restored in a nation, everything gets to be restored back. When God is restored in your life, everything gets to be restored back. Your vision gets to be restored back. Hallelujah. Your authority, your direction, your motivation gets to be restored. All right. Except God is enthroned in your life nothing works amen nothing will work amen no matter how skillful knowledgeable no matter how you know informed no matter how you know motivated amen you think you are amen you can you can live on other things but guess what if god is not there it's not going to work you know jeremiah said he said god said to jeremiah my people have committed two sins he said they have forsaken me their fountain they have forsaken me their fountain all right you read that i guess in jeremiah uh, 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 as a chapter 12 excuse me chapter 11 or chapter 2 now he said they've forsaken me the, their fountain amen or, or, or their, their fountain you say and they have hewn for themselves all right cisterns that cannot hold water imagine trying to pour water in, in my hand it's not going to hold that's what they've done all right so these people are forever engaging in 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 activity all right in initiatives that the, the, the father defines to be systems they cannot hold water it's like pouring making baskets or and trying to you know pour water in the basket for it to hold it's not going to hold it's not going to hold that's the that's the that's the idea amen that's the motivation that's what a lot of us are doing we're building systems that cannot hold water why don't we go back to God? It's as simple as that. Why is it difficult for us to 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 have a life, amen, that is connected? To have a, amen, a, you know, a lifestyle that is connected to God, that is connected to His ways, His will, His counsel, His plan, His purpose. There's a way that seemed right unto a man, but the end is destruction. We're tracking something in David here. David understood, amen, that his ability to to advance, to live life in accordance, amen, to 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 you know to to. You know, to real leadership, amen, in accordance to, amen, good governance has to be bringing God back into the land, into the, into his household, into his home, into his family. He said, let, let, let us bring, let, let me finish that scripture. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. We bless your name. In chapter, in verse 3 of that uh, Chronicles uh, uh, um, 13, 1 Chronicles 13, it says, let us, let us, let us, let us. You see, this is not one man's thing. We want to do it. It's a corporate thing. Amen. It's a corporate thing. Let us. Let us. Not just let me. Some people say, oh, well, well, as long as you can do it, it's fine. You know, as long as he's the man alone playing, praying, it's fine. As long as, you know, he, I mean, after all, you are the one God called. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Let us. It has to be a corporate thing. If you want to see God move mightily in the nation, if you want to hear I mean, about the move of God, if you want to hear the power of God manifest in the place, I guess you have to begin to, amen, 
come together in the place of corporate prayer. If you want God to move in your house, in your household, amen, in your business, back in those days, amen, we, we, we used to run what is called uh, uh, Oasis, Oasis Fellowship. Oasis Fellowship, 12 o'clock, you know, I think two, 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 two times in a the week. They're about, I, I, I can't remember if it's two or three times in a week. All right. We, get, we gather people who are in, in business. All right. They just come. We meet in a, in, in a restaurant we, and we pray for them. We, we instruct them. We teach them about the, the, the word of God. Amen. How they can survive within that harsh, you know, economic environment in, back in those days in Nigeria. We gather the people. We impact their life. We pray for them. They go back. They excel. They succeed in their workplace. Yes. It's an attitude we have to develop. So there's nothing like, well, this is no. Every time is God's time. All right. When, when, when you know, when you make God a priority, when you put God as a priority in your life, I tell you, things begins to change in your life. Amen. Things begin to th things begin to get to be turned around. Amen. Even in your workplace, those challenges, those problems that you just hit your head. Oh God, I don't know what to do. Come on, just take time to pray. You know, sometimes you just need just leave that walk. Just look for a toilet, you know. Go look for a quiet place, you know. A private place. Just, Father, I thank you. Give me clarity. Give me direction. Just go back to that same walk and see what's going to happen. We used to teach these things back in those days. Let us bring God back. It says, let us bring the ark of God back to us. It says, for we did not inquire of it during the rain of Saul. The whole assembly agreed to do this because it seemed right to the people. It has to seem right to us. Because in the days of Saul, the people did not inquire of it. They, they did not inquire from the ark, from the place of the presence of God. They did not inquire. So they were building things by their own human effort, by their own human strength. And by strength shall no man prevail. God is proven. I mean, we saw what, what, what happened to China right now. Oh, yesterday, China announced that they are going to inject is it 172 billion into the economy. I said, even if they inject another 300 trillion, it's not going to make a, you know, a difference because God, hallelujah, is pointing a finger to China. It's God is saying something, say, you think you can persecute my people. All right, and I will not get back. You think you can you can continue this evil that you're doing in the name of creating a secular state, all right, that God has been has been has been kicked out. You think you can continue to do that, China? Of course, we our heart goes out for the people that are dying, all right? Regardless of how people uh, people have all kinds of you know uh, 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 idea of how this virus, you know, some people even say where the virus were created. Come on, we know that many of the virus were created, but at, at the end of the day, God will still be glorified. That's the point. I, I don't want to overflog and, and go into the complexity of how the virus came. And, but the point is God is proven to amen, a leadership that thinks that they are the almighty, that they can do and undo, that they have amen, what it takes to stop, to imprison people amen, for their religious belief, to imprison people hallelujah, for, their, for their religious stand. You cannot do that. Not in this new day we might all say yes this is what is going to be happening in the end time but that's why we are here to prevent those things that's why the bible says we are the salt of the earth that's why the bible says god has given us the power amen of regency the power to execute the power to to stop amen the power to undo hallelujah the power to establish the will of god to establish the kingdom of god don't fold your hands and let somebody come and say because it's the end time all right you christians are going to be persecuted you know churches are going to be bummed out and then we just fold our hand no it's time we wake up and begin to pray it's time we begin to steer hallelujah the heavens it's time we begin to pour down the rain of god in form of healing righteousness mercy but also in form of judgment this is the time we want to pray we want to believe god hallelujah this morning so I, I, as i begin to round up i want us to pray this morning lord we want to invite you I want to invite your presence, not just into our individual lives, but into our homes, into our into our community. All right, look at just begin to picture those areas, amen, in your community that it seem as if, amen, there are tyrannical rule. It seem as if you got this evil hallelujah that is reigning. When you look at the the, the lives of the people, it, it, you you just ask yourself, where do we start from? This evil, all right. The people have been influenced by drugs. People have been influenced by evil, perversion, wickedness 
poverty. Poverty today have been have been weaponized. Poverty has become an instrument that both government and even some NGOs are using. I mean, you keep them poor so you can continue to get you know grants and 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 aids and all kinds of things. Government are using poverty to continue to promote the ungodly weak policy. Come on, we have to break the power of the of the enemy amen in our community in our society we want the light of god the bible says amen that the people who sat amen in, in darkness have seen a great light jesus went about doing good you know why because the bible says he was anointed how god anointed amen the son of mary that's the best way i can put it how god anointed amen jesus christ of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about you see when you when you when you get anointed when the spirit of god comes upon you when the life of god gets to indwell you listen you don't sit that thing will not make you sit because the time of sitting is the time that you have learned amen you see there's a time of sitting there's a time of standing there's a time of walking there's a time where you saw there is a time where you begin to soar amen like an eagle we, we have not got into that point here this is the time where we are rising up amen i want to believe that you have sat but if you have not sat you got to go sit you got to sit to learn amen so so we've got to understand the various stages that we that we you know that we that we have amen there's a time where you need to sit that was the time of mary all right when you sit and you 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 have you have eaten of him, hallelujah. You've been impregnated, hallelujah, by his word. And that thing begins to grow. Then there's a time, amen, to rise up and begin to give birth in travail. When you start giving birth in travail, then you know that it's time to engage. We've got to understand, friends, that even when we give birth, like the woman who gave birth in the book of Revelation, the Bible says, amen, that the, 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 the water began to rise to want to swallow this woman. We've got to understand that, friends, we're in warfare. We are in a day of warfare as the lord amen, has called us to also rebuild we are building amen that's why we're looking at nehemiah amen you're gonna we're gonna see that concept they were building with one hand amen and they were what and they were warring with the second hand hallelujah they were building this is what south africa need this is what we need today we want to build with one hand we want to war with one hand hallelujah we want people to be watching the enemy coming while we have men building restoring hallelujah the broken the ruins of our life of our homes of our family Many of us, we've got people, amen, that their lives today are in ruin. We want to restore them back. We want to call them by name. We want to restore. We're looking at areas in our homes, in our family, in our community, in our city, amen, that needs to be restored earlier. But listen to this. Like I've been saying, gates cannot restore themselves. Walls cannot restore themselves. So it's not imp it's not just enough to, to focus on those things that are ruined. You've got to look at, amen, the spirit, the entity behind those things. You've got to understand what do we need to do, amen, to engage this ruin all right it's not enough to just say okay we want to restore walls you've got to understand what the wall mean you've got to understand what gates mean hallelujah we need to we need a new new sense of leaders in our nation we need a new sense of leaders in our home we need to be awakened because it's it's it's, it's easy for us to talk about yeah we want new leadership and all we're thinking about amen is the change of political leaders no we ourselves need to change as leaders god place us as leaders in our various you know constituents in our various homes and family all right if i'm not a good leader in my home how can i reflect good leadership in my community how i mean how can i impact amen the spirit of leadership in my in the life of my children come on we have to take back we we we, we don't need to fold our hands and and allow the enemy once again amen to sneak into our garden all right there, there was a period that people were sleeping in this nation the enemy sneak into this nation through through certain p individuals and, and, and i hope you understand that it's not just the guptas alone earlier that have ruined this nation you still have those that have ruined this nation amen who are in different places who are still there you know you know well seated no we want to dethrone them we want to unput them hallelujah as it is in, 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 in south africa so it is in nigeria we have people in politics in government that needs to be removed yes because when you remove certain people i'm telling you what you're going to begin to see is ch instant change have you noticed that it takes people to change and it takes people to bring a change it takes people to bring a change if so if we don't understand what the spirit of the lord is demanding from us listen we're just going to be praying the wrong prayer no our prayer has to be strategic has to be focused has to be strategic amen we want god to move in our land amen and we're saying god engage men at the aim of affairs we want god to engage men amen at the aim of affairs we want god to engage men at the 
at the end of affairs. Listen to these friends. Men are gates. Men, hallelujah, are walls. If you have wrong men positioning themselves to be walls, what we're going to be having, amen, is insecurity, fear. The Bible says when, when, when the ungodly rules, amen, the nation are in mourning. When the ungodly rules, the nations are in mourning. But when the righteous rule, the city rejoice. Are we rejoicing as a nation? Are we rejoicing as a home, as a family? Is the joy of the Lord found amen, in our lives, in our homes, in our community? Are, are our children expressing joy or are they expressing hatred, evil, fear, and doubt, and ungodliness? No, we have to. You see, what we see, what we see taking place within our community, within our homes, is a reflection of the kind of leadership we have. Come on. Every leader, every society, amen, is reflective, amen, in their leadership. Yes. So we want to pray God, remove Remove the wrong order. Remove the, 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 the polluted, amen, waters. Remove, oh God, the wrong influence. Remove those who claim to be leaders, but they're not leading the people. They're leading themselves. In fact, they're leading just the, 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 the money. They, they just want the money stuck, stuck somewhere. Come on. And we still have many of them walking around, you know, challenging, challenging government and challenging, amen, justice. We still have them. Come on. It, it's a day for judge. That's why we've got to track this man, David. David was a man who know to worship God. He knows how to connect with God. But guess what? David also knows how to judge. He knows how to bring judgment. He knows. Let's not be afraid, amen, of, of, of bringing judgment. Because you see, by, by, by judgment, justice, hallelujah, gets to be enhanced. If you have a justice system that has no judgmental authority, what's the use? What's the use? That's what we see in South Africa. A good justice system, but has no power. Amen. You, you, you just hit the hammer, but you, they, there's no effect. There's no authority. So we're praying this morning, Father, awaken the spirit of justice and judgment upon our, our land, even upon our homes, our communities. Amen. There are people who have, who have continued to perpetuate evil they are pumping drugs into our community into the lives amen of our children come on they have they've destroyed the destiny of young girls amen young boys they've continued to to you know to to to, to, to push drugs to them we have drug peddlers we have drug you know drug sellers drug pushers we have them all over they they, they are spread across across the land but not just this nation alone all over the world and that's why our children just, they're losing their mind they can't think straight they can't make the right decision we have to pray we have to stand in the gap we have to engage these things we have to tell them sorry this day <laughs> your business that, that's you see that's what the, uh, uh, paul did when he got to you know to the land you know in ephesus all right i mean he he, he challenged the economic system the economic system that is being sus amen but 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 you know but by venus you know by that but that spirit by that goddess he, he challenged that spirit Yes, and the man in church, he was seeking to kill Paul. Listen to this. We want to dry, amen, their source. We want to dry the source of, of drug pushers. We want to dry the source, amen, the, the source of, of those who are using our children as prostitutes. Today we have young boys that are being used as prostitutes in this nation, not just girls. I mean, I, I, I saw a guy not too long, was it? No, no, it was about two years ago. I mean, I used to know this guy. He used to be a very nice looking boy. He's been, he's been turned to a gay. But, but beyond just being a gay, he's been turned to a prostitute gay. I mean, you look at, I mean, these are lives that the devil is wasting before our eyes, under our nose. What are we doing? What are we doing, friends? What are we? We need to be awakened. We need to wake up from our slumber. We need to pray. But beyond prayer, we've got to know when, amen, the Lord is saying, move out, engage, 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 engage. And to engage, we need resource. So it's not enough to just say we are praying. We, we need to pray. Certain people, they'll be praying. God will say, okay, your prayer will be in the line of resource. We need resource. We need resource. That's why I like what, you know, uh, things, uh, you know, that the initiatives of, of, of Myrtle, Myrtle Williams. I love the initiative of what this wonderful lady are doing all right in, in, in Johannesburg you know speaking into the lives of people empowering people who are who are bound you know who, who are into drugs you know you, you you're just ministering to society and when we do that amen with the power of God behind guess what we transform society you know and these are things that needs to be needs to be encouraged we need more things like this we need more initiatives like this spread all around 
spread across the nations, but not just South Africa, but all across. We need people that can go into the inner city. We need young men and young women. We need people that can be that, that are informed and power, not just full of zeal, but zeal with knowledge. People that can sit and study and learn. What are we going to do? What can we do in this regard? What are the policy? What are the government policy? How do we enhance these things? How do we build? We need, we need the Nehemiahs of our day to rise up. That's what we're asking for. The Nehemiahs of our day, not people who want to run with zeal. Zeal is good, but you need zeal with knowledge. Or else the government themselves will shut you down. There are things that you've got to have. There are qualifications you've got to have. There are all kinds of things we, have to, we, we need to have. And we want to get those things if we can get them. Why can't we get them if we can get them? Hallelujah. Why can't we get those things if we can get them? If we can get them, let's get them. If we can invest in things that will enhance our work. You know, I look at a lot of people that come around our place here. You know, you want to help, but you're short. You're, 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 you don't have what it takes in terms of the resource. In terms of the resource. And, and if you start doing things that you're not called into, guess what? The other area that you're called into gets to suffer. So I understand that, that strategy. And I'm not going to you know, allow myself okay, to, you know, to, be, you know, to be directed or to be lured into things that will just sap your strength and energy. That all right, is not your core. All right? Everybody must find their core. All right? And we, we want to find our place, our position. And let the Spirit of God lead and guide us in those areas. We want to speak to leaders. We want to awake leaders. We want to steer the heart of men. We want amen, people to be positioned. Imagine that there, there, there are all kinds of drug pushing and all kinds of drug peddling and drug usage and you, you just create an altar in that area to pray. All right, and I mean, create an altar. I mean, you set a standard of God's presence, God's government in that place. You start praying, you start proclaiming and declaring. You just continue to do it, all right, and you let the Lord, Amen, continue to you know release resources in different area. Guess what? Before you know it, that place will be transformed. We can transform our 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 community by the power of governmental intercession governmental intercession allow the strategies of god's principle of reformation and transformation to enter into that community amen and to begin to amen effect change all right your prayer may be able to produce maybe to you know produce one thing amen god's uh, other people's prayer will produce something else by the time we begin to connect all this together before you know it the lord amen will start moving in the land things start happening all right maybe then they god, god stares the heart of the government then they decide to do certain things all right we have to pray a prayer that will allow that will compel hell amen nations government to do what is right that is strategic prayer we have to we may not have the resource i don't have the resource to do many of the things that we're talking about but guess what i have the resource to pray i have the resource to move the hand of god and when god move the hand of god god moves the hand of people in the earth that's the point god moves the hand of people in the earth god moves god will touch the heart of people god will compel the heart of people and sometimes god will compel them in the in the courtroom <laughs> you gotta just said sometimes yes in the place of prayer god will begin to stare certain things that amen the judgment will be passed in the courtroom so don't be afraid to go to court on what is right don't be afraid hallelujah to face the you know the, the judge to face the jury hallelujah and say my lord this is what we want this is what we're asking for this is what has been taken come on we've got to use all the system that have been placed we've got to use the system we've got to understand the system that was why paul was wise amen he understood the system he understood the system of law he understood the system and he used the system to the point earlier, he was seeking to convert Agrippa. Father, we thank you this morning. We honor you, Lord, this morning for your wisdom, for your grace, for your knowledge, for your understanding. Yes. Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, halalabashi Yes, we're going to use this prayer this morning. We're going to pray with this concept this morning. Where's my Isaiah? Yes. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom. Father, we thank you for the spirit of wisdom. Wisdom is a spirit. It's not the accumulation of ideas and knowledge. No, wisdom is a spirit, and that spirit is your spirit. So wisdom has built a house. This morning, Father, we connect according to Isaiah 11, verse 2. It says, the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. Let your spirit, Lord, rest on us. The, the spirit of the Lord. You have to become the Lord over our life. Because when you are Lord over our life, what begins to translate in is the spirit 
amen that allow us to walk in wisdom your lordship allow us your lordship in a place in a in a home in a government allow for wisdom to begin to manifest so we pray this morning for the spirit of wisdom lord to be manifest in our lives oh god in the life of many that are connected with us this morning father we pray for the spirit of wisdom we pray for the spirit of understanding yes we pray for spirit of wisdom to 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 know to have idea to have insight to have you know foresight wisdom to 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 know how things ought to be a lot of people do not have the spirit of wisdom they don't know how things ought to be they don't know how you have ordained how you've designed things wisdom allows to see intention wisdom allows to know intent wisdom allows to see what is at the back of the mind of the law what what god desire to do what god desire to have to build what god desire to establish yes it is that position where the kingdom of god comes to stay in our life it is the wisdom of God that allows to understand the will of God regarding every situation. So we pray this morning for wisdom, but we also pray for the understanding the understanding of what we have received by wisdom the understanding is what prepare us amen for implication for excuse me for 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 implementing for implementing what we know for what we have received so we thank you this morning for understanding to to understand means you have to be under you've got to be able to see yes sometimes we want to understand but we're on top ha huh? no understanding means you you take a posture of humility you cannot understand without humility yes a lot of people you might have knowledge and have wisdom but they are lost and therefore they never get to understand understand means you have that prophetic insight to see things but to have that you have to humble Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Humble yourself. Understanding comes with humility. Understanding comes with humility, friends. Understanding comes with humility. To understand things, to understand people, you need to take a posture of humility. Then they show you. Okay. Now I see. I see why this person is ranking and rating. I see why this person is behaving like this. I understand why things are the way they are. You see, you can have, we can have knowledge, you can have wisdom, but if you don't have understanding, the Bible says, in all you're getting, get understanding. Understanding is highly important, crucial to the nature of the days that we live in. We need understanding so that we don't just run, run ahead without the leading, without the guidance, without the instructions of the Spirit. We need understanding to regulate our knowledge. We need understanding to regulate our wisdom father we thank you for the spirit of understanding this morning yes father uh -huh. and the spirit of counsel counsel me how to approach you see now you know you know what is going on but the counsel means how to approach things how to approach people what to say to them counsel counseling is a spirit Calabar, shayada, adorable. a lot of people want to counsel people want people to come into our life want to talk to them you see this is where the spirit of a shepherd one who guide one who lead comes you need counsel uh, you know a good a good pastor a good shepherd a good father amen needs the spirit of counsel counsel is how to talk many people don't know how to talk we don't know how to talk we know the right thing but we don't know how to say them we don't know how to communicate all right we say the wrong thing even though we may mean the right thing but we say the wrong thing counsel means to know earlier what to say but also to know how to say it you see, this is what we found, amen, in, in Nehemiah. When the king asked him, what's going on? You see, counsel had to, had to be triggered for Nehemiah to know how to speak. Less all his prayer, all his burden, all his fasting would have been wasted. Counsel, counsel, give us the spirit of counsel, Father. Counsel comes from you. You, Holy Spirit, you are the counselor. You're the counselor. You're the counselor, Holy Spirit. Counsel us in the way of the Lord. Counsel us in the way of truth. Counsel us, O God, in the path to follow, in the path to go, how to engage things. That when we look at things, O God, the counsel will speak to us. We look at children. We look at young people. There's a way to speak to a child. There's a way to speak to an elder. There's a way to speak to young people. There's a way to speak to your, your pair. There's a way to speak to your husband. There's a way to speak to your wife. There's a way to speak to you know your uncle, your, your friends. There's a way to speak. There is a way. There is a way. You need counsel to know how. This is the day where we are learning how. We have learned what. In most cases, we have, le we have learned why. It's time to learn how. Come on. It's a generation. It's a decade where we must learn how. The how. The how. How to. How to. How to. Come on. How to. How to. How do you speak? 
to a prophet? How do you speak to an apostle? How do you connect? How do you connect, amen, to a gift, to a grace? You see, at that point can make you miss a lot of things. You see, you see, it's not enough to just have a relationship. You've got to understand how to speak, how to connect, how to interact, amen, in that relationship. It, or else you will miss it. Counsel! The spirit of counsel. The spirit of counsel. You see, when you have counsel, you have power. Yes, when you have counsel, because counsel produces power. You see, this they're, they're too much together. Just like you see, wisdom and knowledge, excuse me, wisdom and understanding are together, all right? Counsel and power appears, they go together. Where there is counsel, there is power. You know what power means? The ability to execute authority. The ability to, to make things work well. Yes. You see, it's not how we scream, how we shout. It's not our own opinion. No, when we allow the Spirit of God to counsel us in what to do, in what to say, power will flow. Power will flow. You see, when, we, when you have that, the spirit of fear, the fear of God, amen, the fear of God, not, not, not fearing things. No, we only fear one thing. We only fear one person, God. When the fear of God comes into our life, guess what? We will walk in the spirit of revelation. The fear of God is the key into the revelation of God. When you don't have reverential honor and respect and fear for God, you can't know the things of God. No, they will not show you. That's why, that's why I wonder when I see people that are proud and cocky and they want to teach things of God. I say, what do you want to teach? Because you're already expressing the opposite, amen, of the things of the Spirit. What do you want to teach when you are, when you are lofty and high? What, what do God do with lofty people? He brings them down. God only exalts the humble. The fear, fear of God. That's the next one. The fear of the Lord. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Yes. It would delight. It would delight in the fear of the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this truth this morning. Ah, what a word. What, a, what, what an impartation this morning. Father, we thank you. May this truth, oh God, penetrate the depth of our hearts, of our lives. May this word, oh God, bring us to a place of submission to your wisdom, to your ways, to your counsel, to your knowledge. May we be rope, oh God, yes, in the fear, in the reverential fear of God. So that we will not delight in our own ways, but we will delight in your ways. <laughs> so that we will not hear, oh God, with the earrings of the human ears. No, but we will hear with the ears of the spirit. We will see with the eyes of the spirit. Oh God, Father, that we will not judge by what we see with our kind of, kind of eyes, oh God. Lord, this morning we pray lead us make us oh god instrument of change oh god even as you walk upon our own lives oh god as we take our posture oh god before you this morning as we pray and call upon your name we go out this morning we declare that victory is our portion whatever we're going to be doing oh god as we engage today right from our movement from our various homes this morning father we thank you that your spirit will guide us and lead us help us oh god to bring forth the prophetic program for this day. Help us to birth your prophetic intention for this new day. There are people waiting for us. We will meet them, Lord, at, at, at different points. Some will meet them at the garage. Some will meet them maybe in a restaurant. We will meet them on the road. Some, all they need for, from us is just a smile and a wave of hand. Some is just to give them that prophetic word you've dropped in our heart. Whatever you will have us do today, help us to go beyond just our occupation and the business of the day help us to put your business first because it's in your business first that our business gets yes to prosper you say give me the boat <clears throat> when when peter yes lend you his boat <laughs> the same boat that could not produce that could not catch fish the same boat oh god after you've used it almighty god brought forth so much fish lord that the boat began to sink that he had to beckon for his friends to come and assist father we pray this morning that we will yield ourselves oh god help us oh god not just to go to work help us to see our work as ministry <clears throat> help us to see our workplace as ministry a place where we can minister to people, even to our own boss. We don't have to, we don't have to stick Jesus on their face, but we can reflect the life of Christ. It's a character. Christ is a nature, is a life. The way we do things, the way we talk, the way we interact, the way we, the way we walk, people can be attracted to that. This is what we pray for this morning. Help us, Father. 
to be an instrument for your use. To be an instrument for your, for your use, oh God. Use us for your glory. Help us to pray. And pray for this nation. Pray for our government. Pray for our leaders. <clears throat> pray for those, oh God, who are in need. There are those who are frustrated, dis discouraged, depressed this morning. Whose mind have been battered by all kinds of things. We pray for them. We align them. We bind their mind to the mind of Christ. Even as we bind our minds, the minds of our minds, of our, of our children, of our homes, family, husband, wives, oh God, our nephews, cousins, uncles, oh God. In this day where the economy, yes, is, 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 is really hitting hard on the people negatively. Lord, we pray that you are a supplier, you are a provider. You are our El Shaddai. We thank you this morning. You are our God. You are the one who provides for us. You are, you're, you are the Ebenezer of our life. You are our help. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are the Paracletus. You are the one who comes to help us. We receive help from you this morning. Wherever we are, wherever we're connecting from this morning, we receive help. Help comes from you. Help does not come from the north or from the south, east or west. Help comes from above. Our eyes are on you, Lamb of God. We receive help, Holy Spirit, this morning. Help us. That we may be able to help others. We receive light. We receive grace. Empowerment. Thank you Lord for the life of my brethren this morning. Everyone that is connecting with me this morning. We pray. I pray for you. I pray for grace. I pray for strength. I pray for wisdom. I pray for grace. I pray for wisdom. I pray for strength. I pray for grace. I pray for strength. I pray for wisdom. But most I pray for the favor of God. As I pray that you would this day will walk. Yes in the path of God. The Bible says to as many that are led by the spirit of God. Are the sons of God. I pray that you will be led this morning. As Nehemiah was led. Yes, to speak in counsel that you will, you will go this morning. Yes, in your various workplace. Many of you will be maybe connecting to your boss. Uh, I pray that you will present the right atmosphere. You will go with the right the right atmosphere. You will go with the right belief system. You will not go cocky. You will not go feeling up depressed. You will not go looking as if the whole world is upon your shoulder. No. You will go feeling light. Your boss will look at you and they will feel, yes, that energy of life and light. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim this morning do you, you, that you are an instrument of change wherever you go this morning. Let it be in the name of Jesus. Let every weight, let every burden, let every chain fall off your life, of your home this morning money of your mind i bind your mind to the mind of christ i proclaim this morning your heal your restore your reform your revive i pray for you this morning receive the life of god receive grace receive energy receive di the, the, the dimensions are uh, of, of the of the life of god into you this morning let christ be exalted in you let christ reign in you father we thank you those needs are met yes challenges needs financial needs marital needs in the name of jesus needs with regards to your children we pray this morning yes they are met needs regarding your own life yes you need direction you need you need a right state of mind you need to make decision in the name of jesus i proclaim this morning receive life receive grace receive truth receive understanding let the power of god heal your mind your soul your body this morning be healed let the let the bam in gilead minister healing to you in the name of jesus father I thank you. I give you glory this morning for what your spirit, yes, has done in the life of the people. We bless you. We honor you for victory, 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 victory. We have a shout of victory this morning in the camp. The Lord God Almighty is the one leading us. Go forth and prosper. Go forth and prosper. Go forth this morning and prosper. Let the favor of God go with you. Go this day and conquer Babylon. Go this day and plunge Egypt in the name of Jesus. Let the glory of God redeem around you father we thank you we honor you in jesus name amen amen and amen thank you so much amen amen thank you everyone this morning for connecting with me i'll not be able to read everybody's uh, uh i'm not sure if I, okay let me so i can do this thank you uh, uh my dear brother patrick amen from nigeria thank you thank you so much amen it's the myrtle thank you thank you thank you 
Thank you, uh, Farm September. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Derek. Thank you, Stadioni. All right. Thank you, my dear brother, Naturem. Amen. Thank you. And everyone that is connecting, uh, uh, Pastor Aiki, thank you. I see you also. Thank you, sir, for connecting this morning. All right. Thank everybody. Uh, we, we're done with our morning devotion. I'm going to be back later on. Oh, pray for me that we'll have electricity. I need to get a kind of, you know, uh, um, uh, what do you call it now? The, the timetable of how the uh, this light shift goes. So at least I know when to you know to come to come on. All right, but I really do appreciate everybody. So if uh, everything goes well, if we're gonna have light this morning, then I'm gonna be back. All right, we'll continue to look at the concept of uh, 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 Nehemiah because there's so much we need to cover. So I want to make sure that we use all the time the order that is available. All right, that's what we're gonna be doing. So I should be back maybe later on. If all right, if the light is fine, then I'll be back maybe around the. Um, around nine see how that goes right if you're at workplace well you can just maybe later listen to the recording all right or you can maybe put in your earphone or right, and do that but it's gonna be a beautiful day it's already a beautiful day thank you have yourself a wonderful glorious day bye-bye